Hi and welcome back to my solo playthrough of Carnegie and it seems you are liking this game so there are a lot of cool comments, a lot of thumbs, a lot of views which I definitely 100% approve of, <laughs> really appreciate it. Of course I did cheat, uh, I think basically already doing my I think one first or second turn, I think it was my second choice and that was in respect to the advanced R&D department here. Yes you get seven R&D points but but in order to do so, you have to send out this meeple here onto a mission. I used this guy twice and I believe I should be able to fix it. So first of all, I have to reduce seven R&D points, which I will do in a second. But this fella needs to be sent out onto the map, which is now a decision I have to make with basically present knowledge in the end. So I guess we are sending, I mean, we need money, right? So we are sending the guy to the south. Maybe back then I should have sent him to the south too. But yeah, again, I cannot repair anything. So now I have to reduce seven points. Hmm, that's an interesting one. I definitely want to stay here, but I guess I will reduce this one. So I have to go with six more points. That's a tough one. I think this is three and yeah, this is another three. Unfortunately, I have to do it like this. So ultimately with my second R&D action, which I believe Andrew triggered, um, I only would have been able to use those th uh, two meeples down there, which is six. So I was not able to use that. So all the more reason to go for a movement um, HR action this round. But I think with that being said, I should have caught everything. Again, appreciate the comment really helps me a lot to, to really make things right. And that's why I'm typically not doing um, basically one off kind of videos and go through a full game um, and really prefer that to do whatever split it apart into two three four episodes depending of the game a little bit but i guess it's my choice of which action to take this round i do know that andrew would be interested in a management action i couldn't care less actually so we are definitely not going to do that so i think again the first thing that we are doing is this oh he's going for a management action again and that could be problematic because i mean he's triggered he, he has first tips anyway next round which i guess is okay i would like him to do that um, instead of me. I think I like that actually. But again, I was going to go with um, basically this action here, the HR action, which is now triggering, oops, the south. Mm, the question is, do I want to send both home or only once? Because um, the next time the R&D is moving, we would also trigger the south. So having someone there would at least give me some extra income from my project tabs here. So this would be two dollars. Maybe I will be able to build something more. So I guess let's only do it once. So the guy from the south is sent back to our lobby laying down. Again, Andrew doesn't care about those mission spaces. Because we send at least one guy home, we get all exclamation marks from our project tabs. Right now, unfortunately, this is only this one, but that's still two more dollars. But let's not forget that we also get five more dollars for each meeple we were sending home. In this case, only one, but that's an additional five dollars. So overall, we netted seven dollars from this, which would bring me into the position of doing another donation. Next donation would cost us $10. Unfortunately, I already missed one donation. I think was it this one? I think it was this one here. So the next donation is two steps away from here and three steps. So I think this is taking some time actually. But yeah, nothing I can do about right now. This is where you, I think, really need to read this timeline much better than I did and really missing out on this opportunity here relatively early on. The second donation was definitely kind of a problem. But yeah, nothing I can change right now. Let's go to the actions. Again, Andrew has always first dips. We were going with the movement action. In this case, he's moving this card one, two spaces here to the right, which ultimately means this card will score him three points at the end of the game. But that's pretty much his action. So he's right now scoring four points out of his cards. I think we already played five rounds so far. So. I'm not complaining about this, but again, this will continue to happen. And keep in mind, he's also already scoring a lot of points from his departments. His next action will be a management action, which means he will go for more of those. I think e easily three more of those, that's six more points. So yes, he will definitely still score a lot of points, not just from his action cards there. 
then it's over to me. And again, we have six movement points here. Three from the meeple that's printed or pre-printed on this board. We always get at least three movement points, or we would never be in a position where we wouldn't be able to move anything, which would definitely be a problem. Um, and we get three more points here. I think this one goes on here without saying. Then one, two, one, hmm. one, two, maybe here. Yeah, let's do it like this. So let's see. One, one, two, this was three, one, two, five. So we have one more. We could now decide. I definitely want a second guy here. We need to build at least twice during our next um, construction action. That much is clear. So I guess I will take the risk and we'll move this guy down again. They are laying down because they're now untrained. And because this is kind of the end of my turn, I have to stand them both up. So, oh, wow, that's a problem, actually. I don't have $4, uh, $10 then. But okay, that's that's okay. So we are standing up this fella here. So this costs us three dollars, and those two fellas will cost us. Wow, well, they are really expensive. Cost us four more dollars, so I get one dollar back. So in total, we paid seven dollars. So we are again at only seven dollars. But I really needed the cash, so maybe I should have sent this other fella home. But again, as there is no immediate donation action or event, I think I am fine. I am allowed to stand this fella up for free. So that's at least something I could. I think I didn't have any more movement left. I could have, instead of this guy, moved over this guy maybe because I'm most likely not going to build, are we? There is another very cool thing out there. The problem is I don't have enough cubes, I believe. But we are going for a construction action next. So I think not having someone here could be also problematic. Yeah, no, let's, let's leave it as it is. I think I'm fine with that. So again, the locomotive is moving over here. We are bringing over the next card. Okay, next he will also focus on a construction action, which would most likely mean he's building into three or maybe even four cities or four projects he's building or up to four. That's definitely not nothing. But yeah, let's also move this fella here. Again, he's going for the management action, which means we can trigger stuff in the east, which again is only for an event for me. I think we are flipping this over right away, actually. I think we know what it is because he's cho choosing the turn. But again, he's not going for that mission space anyway. So we are resending this fella because our reward here for every meeple we are sending home, we are getting basically one meeple from our reserve. Again, we have still five extra meeples now down to four and they are both being sent back to our lobby. Uh, I think this is good. I think really getting extra meeples back into our office building is crucial. Then, yeah, I think we are, we are still getting the $2 from our project here because again, as soon as we are moving any one meeple back, at least any one meeple back, we are triggering all of those. Again, it's not per meeple. This is really a one-time thing if you're doing this at least once per, per event, that is. So that's two more dollars. So we are at nine. So now I'm okay to spend maybe one goods cube to increase that to a 10. So getting an extra dollar. And then I would still be able to afford another dimension, <laughs> dimension, the donation that is. Then Andrew is taking his turn. And as I suspected, he's going for three more things here, three more departments, and he will go for HR departments, it seems, which, ah, oh, this is bad. You must be kidding me. These were exactly the ones I was interested in. So he did that twice now. He's taking basically one, two, three away and this one would have been so incredibly nice. I mean, we could send someone in here. This someone could give us eight movement points if we are not moving that fella or we could send him out for eight dollars. So if you're really short on cash, we could trigger this. But now this is gone. This is also great because we could send this fella out to get us basically on a recruitment mission or we could use him for four points and this takes two employees so we can even choose each so this is really the best way to get to your maximum amount of workers but yeah not gonna happen in this game it seems wow and if that wouldn't be enough that's six points for andrew so what are we going to do with the management action overall we have two meeples in these management areas this guy here which we could send out for a cube or we could leave him here for a cube 
something to consider not sure if i do need someone oh yeah maybe i should send someone to the east actually and this fella here would allow us to go for another department again because um andrew just taken away the most tasty one at least for this current situation i'm not sure if i'm going to do that this one here is pretty much a supportive building, which says, I think, uh, as soon as basically there's a the purple background here, that's an ongoing effect. So when this department is equipped, and I'm pretty sure there is an explanation or a naming for this, so that's department eight, and that's property management. This department allows a player to immediately assign an employee to a newly built department, so that's nice. Um, but again, not sure if I'm going to build any more departments. I mean, he's grabbing those like crazy. This one is a nice one because it's kind of an ongoing effect. And I don't need to send out meeples in order to do that. I think that's the 10. Let's go back. Sorry, I should have kept that. That's the construction outsourcing. Yeah, that does make sense. This department allows a player to build without sending an employee on a mission. So we have to basically pay $3 and then one, two or two cubes respectively to build a project. Also not bad. This one is great because it gives us four R&D points. But yeah, we and we can keep the folks there. So that's kind of the benefit compared to the other one so oof. and i guess here we can basically yeah we can um, that's also not bad we can buy cubes hmm. i think that's procurement or so i guess in the construction and again as we get to choose the order of things we could first go for this department doing construction this gives us then the cubes we need we would no longer be in any need or in any problematic situation in respect to goods cubes because again he has taken i mean i would really would have loved to grab this department but this was the first thing that andrew took away from us which was really give you a lot of cash or cubes in that regard again this one is not bad but this one gives us some flexibility there's really no meeple out there which would allow us to move people around. So I guess this is not bad. This gives us two points and gives us some flexibility. But so is this one here. But here we still need the cubes and the money anyway. And I'm right now not in a particularly good shape generating cubes because Andrew has taken those all away from me. The thing is, if I would go for this, I need to spend two cubes, which, which I have which I have. The thing is, my next action... No, that's good. Let's go for it. So we are spending two cubes now in order to build this department here. And I believe we might as well place it into the top row. So this is now three points instead of the two points that we would get from here. Those cubes are gone. Um, and the reason is, I think I'm going to move this fella up here. And it doesn't matter if I put it here or here or there. Um, I have to spend two movement points anyway. And I think, yeah, I think let's let's do it like this. Um, so this has taken care of this meeple. So again, we are most likely moving them up um, sooner or later with one of our next actions. So this was, and then we are moving over here. And the question now is, I mean, we are definitely sending this fella out. That, that goes without saying too. But I think for $6, we can in theory get more. For $6, we could gain six cubes in the end, right? Or, or three if we're only sending over here compared to this one here no i think we are using this bonus here so we are getting for the dollars which gives me some more flexibility i believe so that's six dollars for this fella who i believe will definitely go to the east because if we are recalling someone from here we still get another meeple back again i'm not doing this endlessly i think getting two th maybe three extra meeples is usually enough i guess at least um so i'm i'm, I'm okay maybe doing this one more time before we move but, but okay let's see how things go but i guess those were all our actions already so this card is flipped over the locomotive moves back we are moving this card over here oh he's going for a construction actions twice in a row and again if we are triggering construction now he's also very much but he will do that twice that could be in fact problematic giving him basically two strong actions in a row two strong construction actions that is could be very very risky then again this is really strangely worded rule that he always gets to take his action first again it could be a balancing thing in the end i don't know but again normally i would choose now i would build and then i would be totally okay 
if he would do that because then I could make sure but if this card is the wrong one we might be completely locked out I mean here's a lot of space that's not the problem but really getting here and I think I also need to get to Chicago at some point in time something I also shouldn't forget because that's another link point so I think I need this I want this here we still have two spaces so that should be okay in the end we're already present in New Orleans that's something and yeah we need I think with three more builds, I would be in an, let's say, okay shape. Not great. Usually you should really reach four, if not five of those um, chain points up here or chain chain, po uh, chain li or links in the end to score that many points. But again, not sure how this is working out against Andrew. So what action am I going to take? In fact, I could go for another HR action now because I do have some movement and I could maximize stuff. So first of all, we definitely have to do this because this was still part of Andrew's action. And I think if I go that, I still gain something out of this. Mm, that's really tempting to do that again. I still have two meeples and this could be three meeples in the end if I recall the fella in the east. And I think let's do that. Let's totally do that. Let's prepare ourselves before he's going into a construction action. No, I think I like that. So again, we are triggering the east. Andrew doesn't care. We are sending this fella back home, which means we get an extra maple from the income track here, from the transportation track, that is. They are both sent here to the lobby. I think I will not be able to move them all with this action, but yeah, I think, I still think that's my best bet right now. And also denying Andrew some points. So again, he will take his action first. Oh, that's only one step. Oh, which is good. So I think I really chose wisely in that case. So we are moving this card only one space here to the right. That's only one point for Andrew. And if you would have constructed stuff, this would have easily been, I don't know, six, eight points or so. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I, I like my choices here. No, that's for sure. And then it's over to me. Again, still having six movement points. I'm relatively certain I'm not going to use this building here ever again. So we are moving this fella one, two spaces up. So we have four more movement points. Then one, two here. So that's one, two, four. We have two more movement points. And I think let's totally send someone back here because again, this could be another dollar generating machine for us. Yes, I like that. So let's stand those up. This doesn't cost us anything. That's $2, that's $1, $3 in total. We still don't, oh yes, we have enough now. No, we have enough. I think that is fine. And did I, I forgot my $2 actually from this income here, right? I think I forgot that actually. Hopefully I didn't mess this one up, but I believe I didn't take this. So I will only spend then $1 in the end. So these $2 go back for the activation of those meeples. Again, I will find this during editing most likely, but now I really have, do I really have $14 now? This looks like a lot to me. No, but I think I have taken this $6 here too. No, I think I'm okay. No, I think this is accurate. I chose the $6 from the last action here. Yeah. I think we should be good. Okay, but yeah, that's already the end of this round. Again, the locomotive is moving. We are moving this in here. We do know he is going to do go for a construction action. And the next action that he will be strongest, we get to choose when the R&D comes up, will be R&D. And yeah, there are some incentives for me to go for R&D, but we don't have to do that right away. But he will trigger construction, so I will definitely do construction. That much is clear. But yeah, let's do his construction action first. So I think we can flip it right away, actually, because it will be a construction one. So let's clean up from my, he's moving to construction, which means we are triggering stuff in the West. And the question is, do we want to move folks out of here or not? That's $3, it's $5 in total, which we currently don't need. So I guess I'm not going to do that because I want to free up some more event spaces first because West still comes three more times. So let's not do that just yet. So I'm not recalling anyone from a mission, but instead let's do Andrew's action first. So he's basically placing four, oops, discs into what is it um portland was denver and los angeles hmm so definitely all in the west and i think these ai cards always work like this so he's never at least as far as i maybe on the advanced cards but i think on the basic cards um they're only ever going for one region of the board 
So we are starting here in Portland. Then we are going to Boas. Oh, wow! This almost completely blocks me off here. The only way I can move here into San Francisco now is through the south, El Paso and Phoenix. Wow, gosh, I hate this guy. Um, but yeah, and we're not done yet, of course. Then Denver. And I think last one was San Francisco, right? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. So that's this one here. Oh, wow, this is also getting close. Oh, boy. Mmm. Oh, 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 oh. That's the question. Should I really go for this? Or should I call this a lost cause and get some more points out? But again, getting up to five of those connection points is really a huge amount of victory points. And again, without San Francisco, um, the, the most connection points I will get are three. Because again, I'm only connecting the, let's call it Eastern and Midwestern, or East, South, Midwestern <laughs> kind of cities. And these are only worth three points. So the maximum would be 18 points. Again, not nothing, but yeah, compare this to 36, that's your answer. Good thing is this card doesn't score him any points because he was able to place all of his discs. And now we are going to do our stuff. And oof, now I have to think about it. I have three dudes, but I only have two cubes, which is good. We need at least three cubes because, again, the minimum amount of cubes that you have to pay for a project is one. But again, we have, uh, where is it? This department, this is active now. Which wallet actually did I? What is it? The 11, that's the supply chain. This department makes it possible to buy goods at a reduced cost. Whenever a player uses this department, they may purchase up to three goods, goods cubes at a cost of one dollar each. So yeah, we are going to triggering trigger this one first for sure do i want to go with three i think i only need i i, I have eleven dollars still left which is i think the yeah i think that's the important piece so i'm spending definitely the three dollars here for three more cubes i think that is important then we are going for this one here which we can now trigger three more times and I think I do want to do that three more times because this would give me basically access everywhere, right? We would gain one, well, not everywhere, but we could at least secure Washington. And then we have still both of those. We could make it to Chicago, which would be fine, actually. I think the Midwestern is slowly coming. So that's, that's, that's definitely good news. Yeah, so the first fella is going definitely now to the east and we are spending two cubes for that in order to build the bridge in Washington. That's two more points here and a point of victory, po victory point income if we're recalling some, someone somewhere off the board. So that was our first fella. The second fella, hmm, I think we'll go to maybe here to Pittsburgh. We have we have the cube, so that's okay. So we have, what do we need? I don't think we need a lot of housing in the end. I guess we want some income here. So we are spending two cubes here actually for this firm or for this factory or so, which gives us a good income. And then the, that's the second of this goes in here. And unfortunately, the last one also has to go to the east, I believe, which is triggering still one more time at least, or twice actually. So that's our last cube. And I think we are sending this now here to Pittsburgh. And again, these things also give us extra points at the end of the game for this donation we have done. So that's two, we could reconsider this, but just for the points, I think I also want the cube income. And here we're getting the meeples. So that's, I guess, getting two more meeples here. That's not great. So I think we should start moving this guy or this thing twice. Then we would gain $10 plus four, two points per meeple when we are calling them off the mission here. Yeah, let's leave it like this, actually. Let's leave it like this. I like that. So let's do some cleanup. So they're all in the second row. That's... Unusual, I would think. Let's move the locomotive back. So we are moving this over here. Oh, wow. Where do these question mark cards come in? I think we had one. Um, maybe the last four are then the question marks, the remaining one. So he's going for a research action twice, actually. That's now a good question if we want to do that a second time or not, actually. Oh, twice in a row. That's usually not great. I was going to go for a research action or R&D action now, but I'm not so sure anymore. 
because again, the first R&D action will be fine. We were simply getting 10 R&D points. That's good. I mean, we don't need a hell of a lot of those, but then the second one, if we would gain, this guy would be out on a mission, then we would be down to only three. And that's a little bit lame. I could argue again to go for another movement action now, which wouldn't help him necessarily. But again, we still have two more meeples. Oh, we don't get any meeples back, unfortunately, because the next event space is a donation, which we could afford in this case. So that's at least something. And we could go, in fact, also go for a subpar management action now which again doesn't help him. Maybe he will also score at least two, maybe four points out of this. But then I guess moving would be better. So we could prepare, for example, send someone over here, preparing for that next R&D action, maybe even do that twice. Then yeah, we wouldn't be able to stand this fella up. That's our problem. Because we just have the $11 to, to trigger the movement. Uh, the donation, sorry, and we are no ah, that's also not. I think this could be our best bet actually now going for this management action. Yeah, let's do it like this. So we are triggering the west, and I think we still have time for the west actually. So we are calling this fella off who gives us an immediate three dollar dollars we are sending him back again andrew doesn't care i'm not 100 percent sure about the order of things if he basically takes his turn before me but i guess it for is for the event it doesn't really matter too much yes i could see maybe i should have flipped this now so yeah i mean we know what he's doing there but there's nothing i can change anyway um, he will only claim one, that's good. Um, but yeah, we get this, we send someone back, so we get four more dollars here. Well, that's definitely helpful. I think we really need all the cash that we can get. Come on, six or uh, four dollars here. We get a cube from our factory, also important. And yeah, we have scored our very first victory point. Can you believe that we are in the lead? Oh yeah, he's so going down, Andrew. <laughs> Not. Yeah, I think that was my mission area resolved in the West. Yeah, I like that. Then again, he's taking his action again. We or basically he's starting. We we chosen this management action here, so he will grab the first R and D tile that's available, which is only this one, which is good. That's only quote unquote two points for him. I still think that this was worth it. We are not moving this card either. Yeah, I think I really do like that a lot. And then we are going to take our action. And again, because of this combination up here, I am going to send this fella out on a mission. I am going for six more dollars because again, dollars could be three cubes or maybe even six if I move another meeple in there. But I think having now extra money could be beneficial in the end. But where are we going to send this fella? So let's quickly look at this thing here. So the next space would be east and south and maybe the Midwest. We have basically presence in all of those regions right now. Some of those are not really great. So we definitely have to start moving there. Um, but we need R&D action, which are coming relatively soon, by the way. But I mean, we know he's sending someone to the south. He, his next action will be south, period. We already know that from the back of his deck. So I guess, yeah, sending someone to the south should be our best bet here. And again, if we are sending them both back, they would gain us $10. And I think that is important. And yeah, I think I have already taken my money. So that's, yeah, that's the end of the round, actually. Again, the locomotive is moving here to the right side. We are bringing this one over. Oh, wow, again, not a question mark. Are you kidding me? So he wants a management action, which we are most likely not going to take. So I guess I'm okay with that, but mm, that's well, maybe that's not so. No, it's okay. It's okay because we are triggering this action here. Um, again, you don't want to be a position where an action is triggered and you can't do anything. That's, I think, not great. So yeah, um, he's taking his action. That will be an R&D action. So he will move three times in the Midwest, actually, which he can't. But let's resolve the event first. So this was this from the previous round. He resolved this one. So we are triggering the South. The South is being triggered only once more during the game. And that's really at least three more steps away from this one here. So we have time. So I guess in this case, we should be safe sending them both home. That's $10 for these meeples alone. So those guys go in here. So I could really go now for a movement IHR action. 
think that would be those. So these are the $10 for the two meatballs alone. I still get four more here. So here's a five, taking one back. I get another cube from this one here. And yes, we are getting another victory point. And again, we are not getting this income here per meeple. That's a one time thing, basically per event, but it's still moving me one point ahead of this track. Again, this will not change the game in any significant shape or form. <laughs> Um, but this was the event, then we are going for the R&D action again. He's moving three spaces on the Midwestern track. Unfortunately, he's already maxed out here, which means he moves one, two, three steps instead. So this card simply gives him six um, bucks or six points at the end of the game. I mean, moving him here would, would have given him six points too. So in the end, yeah, he still got his six points out of this. But yeah, that's that's not great. But already, no, it's not the end. Of course, I still get to take my action. What am I thinking? And overall, I get three plus seven, ten of those points. So we have to send this fella out this time. I won't forget. Promised. Mm, the question is, where should we send this fella to? Should we? Ah, the east? The east could be good, actually. The east could be very good. This could give me six points. Let's do that. On the other hand, the Midwest is something that we are also going to um, trigger. So both of those, maybe having two here and two here might be the better deal. Yeah, let's send this fella here to the Midwest instead. Yeah, this is triggering twice actually, relatively short term. So I guess if you're only sending one here, that's cool, that's cool. That was nice. So we have still 10 more points. So I guess we definitely want to spend two points here. We want to move away from. I think we don't need any extra meeples at this point. I could be completely wrong, but I think let's still do that, right? Yeah, yeah I think that's fine. And then though the, we have eight more points. Um, seven, four more points. So here we are also in the green. So we are in the green region of all the transportation track that currently do matter because again we for now we are assuming we are only going to make um the connection here again let's see how things go but um so far the game is moving really really strangely um <laughs> it's really really weird we still have uh, what was it sorry um two points plus four points six points right i think we moved this one here this was eight and this was so we have four more points, R&D points to go. And we desperately need more things here. The problem is I cannot do this and that. That's really a bummer. I mean, we need this one for sure. I think that, that we need, I mean, these they will give us some points. So then we have two more points left. This is three, this is four. Um, oh, we could do that once more, actually. Just because then points will start to show, actually. I really would have loved to do this. But I guess, I think I might be able to do that actually. And that's okay. So I think we're going to do that once more here. So those were the 10 points, our R&D points. Now we are down to three the next time we are triggering. So we could now debate if we want to continue sending folks up here, if we maybe are okay now with maybe only getting three coins. Then these are points or R&D points that keep coming because again, we are not sending those fellas away. Yeah, I think I like that. But that's again the end of the round. That's really a bummer that I don't have two projects here, but hopefully I can fix that maybe for the industry here later on. So let's move the locomotive back to us. I get to choose. I do know he's interested in a management action, which I couldn't care less about. Let's move the R&D marker accordingly. And I guess before I'm moving into the next round, I will call it for today, leaving you some room. Again, sending me any goofs you may have spotted, maybe something I will catch during editing. But I think with the next video, I should be able to complete things. Let's see, I know I shouldn't count these cards because then I will see the icons, of course. I think this should be, I mean, I can count these cards, but I think we are more, more, more or less halfway through the game. so. I'm fairly confident that I should be able to complete um, this playthrough with my next video or so. The pace will keep increasing as of now. I have to explain less and less as I go, so I should be good. Anyway, again, a huge shout out to all of my patrons and channel members out there. Really, totally appreciate all your support. Don't forget my giveaway, which is still active for a couple of days on the Sorrow Dice game, which again is, I think, the 
video I, I put out two, three days ago. Definitely go check it out in order to yeah, give yourself the chance to win a copy of an awesome game. And yeah, also hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. Maybe the last episode or probably last episode of Carnegie here. And yeah, until then, bye bye.